well hello guys and welcome to the third video of you know the limiting reagent series and in this video we'll talk about finding the amount of products if there is a limiting reagent so let's get rid of this god awful accent and actually do some chemistry yeah sure so imagine okay let's just do this example okay imagine that you're given five grams of hcl you know that is hydrochloric acid and 10 grams of sodium hydroxide naoh or caustic soda whatever you want to call it and you are asked to find the amount of products each product in grams okay i'll give you a moment or you know like a lot of moments just pause the video and try to solve it okay all right assuming you've given a try let us try to solve this you know or get the bottom of this so what should be our first step to finding the answer and that is to convert this from grams to moles yeah very big brain so let us do that okay let us do that okay and if you remember we had a formula to do that right which is the number of moles number of moles equals mass of the substance okay mass of substance all over the molar mass all over the molar mass and if you don't know what i'm talking about watch this video on mole concept and get a refresher and what i'm talking about okay and we are calculating this for the hcl first okay we'll do that for both of these reactants right and in our case we have five grams okay five grams mass all over the molar mass of HCl, which is 1 for hydrogen and 35. Actually, it is 35.5, but we'll take only whole numbers here. 5 grams per mole, okay? And if you work out the units, you know, grams and grams will get cancelled and the mole with will get up top. And you'll be left with 5 all over 36 moles, okay? Moles. And let us actually calculate that. Okay, bring our trusty calculator up here and 5 all over 36. And this is approximately 0 0.138. Okay, let me write that down here. Approximately, uh, uh, approximately 0 0.138 mole of, no, HCl. Okay, cool. Mole of HCl. Okay, let us do that again for our sodium hydroxide. Okay. Let us bring a bit down here. Okay. I'm gonna I'm not gonna write this again. Okay. Just write the number of moles. And this time it's for sodium hydroxide. Okay. Yeah. We have given the mass of 10 grams. 10 grams all over the molar mass of this whole thing, which is 23 for sodium plus uh, 16 for oxygen plus 1 for hydrogen grams per mole okay and i'm too lazy to solve this you know thing so let us bring the calculator again yay 10 all over 23 plus okay never forget to write the parentheses here okay 23 plus 16 plus 1 and it is 0 0.25 okay or 1 all over 4 okay 0. No, oh, 0. 0. 0.25 mole of NaOH, sodium hydroxide. Okay. And now that we have the amount, you know, that we have here, you know, we will do, you know, we will, the next step is to compare the mole ratio between the ideal situation and the available, the actual situation. Okay. So let us do that. Okay. In an ideal situation, let me write that down here. Ideal. Sorry, it is a single L. In an ideal situation, one mole of HCl reacts with one mole of sodium hydroxide to form these products. Okay, so here we will write uh, one mole, one mole of HCl reacts with one mole of sodium hydroxide cool and the ratio will be one is to one 
one all over one. Okay, but let's do it for the actual thing now. Okay, actual scenario now. Okay, which is this. Okay, which is the given amount. Okay, and we are given zero point one three eight mole of HCl and oh uh, sorry okay 0 0.25 okay 0 0.25 mole of sodium hydroxide and to make it less complicated let us multiply the numerator and denominator denominator with four so that this becomes one and we'll be left with uh, let me just write one here and let me calculate the numerator which is 0 0.138 times 4 and that is 0 0.552 okay 0 0.552 and if you notice the amount of the amount of HCl that is that we have is less than required okay and that means that HCl is our limiting reagent okay this is our limiting reagent okay and that means that if we have to find the amount of our products we must base the equations or the calculations based on our limiting reagent why because you know let us take a step back to the ice cream analogy okay if you don't know that you know like watch my videos okay now so if you were to calculate with the amount of bowls okay you will not get the right amount of product right because the amount of the bowls are more than the amount of the thing we actually need and you will need to calculate with the amount of scoops to actually count the amount of bowls of ice creams that we actually have okay oh too much words too many words okay in 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 in, in essence okay oh shit uh i i actually okay yeah in essence we must do the calculations based on you know our hcl the amount of hcl that we have okay so what do we do okay what do we do now that we have found our limiting reagent what do we do so let me tell you the generalized generalized equation to find the amount of the actual amount of the product okay which is the ideal ideal amount of product of product all over all over the ideal okay ideal amount of limiting reagent of limiting reagent times times available available amount of limiting reagent okay limiting reagent and that will give us the result of the actual actual okay shit, actual amount of product of product and you can use this equation to calculate to calculate the actual amount of product so let us dive right in okay let us dive right in first let us calculate for NaCl that is stable salt or sodium chloride whatever oh. so let us do that okay for NaCl okay okay in an ideal situation in an ideal situation okay let me bring the okay uh, okay in an ideal situation one mole of hcl reacts with one mole sorry reacts to form one mole of nscl cool so like let us write that down okay one mole of nscl is formed from one mole of hcl but but we have only one zero point one three eight moles mole of HCl. So how many moles of NaCl do we have? Hmm. So let us do some maths and cancel these out. These coefficients would get would get multiplied, and we'll be left with zero point one three eight mole of NaCl. Pretty neat. Yeah, I fear this is this video is getting long. So yeah, 
stick around, I guess. And we'll, we can convert this from moles to grams using the same formula that we have here. You just have to do some cross multiplications, right? We're going to multiply the moles with the molar mass and you'll have those, you know, mass of the substance. And we'll do that here. Uh, let me, yeah, okay, cool. This is the scroll bar, man. Yeah, this is, this is much better. Okay, all right. So 0 0.138 times, okay, let me just bring up my calculator up here. 0 0.138 times, what is the uh, mass of sodium? Uh, this is 23 plus, plus 35 fluorochlorine. And you have eight grams, okay. This is eight, okay, we'll write that here. Okay, eight. Eight grams of NaCl. Pretty neat, okay. Congratulations, you have just found the amount of product, no, first product at least. And now let's do that for water. Okay, well, where's the reaction again? Okay, water, H2O. Okay, H2O, and in the same, uh, equation in an ideal situation one mole okay let's just check that one mole of HCl reacts to form one mole of H2O okay so okay um, okay one mole one mole of the product which is H2O is formed from one mole of HCl but but we have only 0 0.138 moles of HCl. Okay, so how much how much H2O do we have? Hmm, calculate this. Yes, okay, give it a try. All right, let us now find that answer again. And this time we'll have uh, two, which is to, for the H2, uh, two plus 16, okay? Okay, so 2 plus 16, this is the molar mass of H2O, and we'll have 2.48, okay, 2.2.48 grams of H2O. Okay, I forgot to do the math thing here. Okay, essentially this is what is happening, and boom, boom, you have found the amount of products that you actually need. So let me write up here. Let me just, you know, wipe this, wipe this, and write that we have eight grams. We have, okay, where's the thing? Eight, oh, my brush is not working. Okay, never mind. Eight grams of NaCl and 2.48 grams of H2O. And that is how you find the amount of products if you have a limiting reagent okay this video is too long i hope you do some practices i'll be i'll be linking some things down in the description so make sure you check them out and let's do a summary of what we have done here essentially we converted this grams to moles okay and we did uh, a, a comparison between the ideal mole ratio and actual mole ratio to find the limiting reagent and we used this formula this formula okay that is, if dash amounts of products is formed from dash amount of limiting reagent, but you have only X amount of limiting reagent, you know, you will have the, you know, actual amount, okay? You'll have to just multiply that, okay? And using that, we calculated the amount of products that we, you know, have, okay? Cool? Okay, see you in the next video.